That's how pretty this place is until you wake up in the morning. It's pretty nice, it's cool, isn't it? So today is uh, Tulasa is 480 kilometers. Of a bunch of Chinese salesmen carrying their wares outside of one province into another province, and one of them saying, I'm glad I'm getting out of this Fukien territory. And <laughs> some Xiong is on the move. Hey, you don't need two layers, are you? One, two, three. Inside got one layer, second, three. Oh, I'm, I think six really. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> two That's what a four wheel drive should look like, man. Four, six. Look at that. At the Se Chi La uh, viewpoint here. Peace, love, happiness. Whoop, whoop. 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 Come slowly coming closer, closer, closer. Whoop. Hello, hello. 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 Hi. Hello. 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 是真的,你放心 from the Kalahan Desert, the sand people. You know, the gospel is crazy, a guy that threw a scope photo <laughs> from there. And then the migration, uh, northwards, uh, went to Egypt and all. Uh. And then, uh, some, in Europe, uh, they split, the migration route split. And one part uh, went up to Scandinavia. And then because of the weather changing, uh, originally they were all very dark skin, right? So it became more and more fair to adapt to the environment. Whereas the other branch uh, went through Siberia, uh, and they crossed the Bering Sea, uh, the Bering Straits. When they crossed, when they went up to, when they, when they went to uh, Siberia, means uh, it's to China and all that, to Tibet, to China. And then uh, this same breed of uh, Tibetans, uh, I mean, those days are all Tibetans, uh, they went to Siberia. And then uh, the Chukchi people uh, in Siberia are the same genetic engineering uh, genes uh, as the Tibetans. Uh. Then they found uh, the, 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 the Red Indians, uh, the Sioux and the Hachi. Uh, of Canada and all, also the same genetic makeup. And finally, they found Oi! when they went down to Bolivia, the Aymara, you know, the short people you know, with the bob head, you know, same genetic again. So it means uh, millions of years ago, during the Great Migration, uh, they took them, they crossed the Bering Sea, went up Asia, one group went to uh, Scandinavia, Europe, Asia, and then uh, Siberia, crossed the Bering Sea into Alaska, went down Canada, and finally into uh, US, and then into uh, Mexico, and then into South America. So then you ask, uh, 
Yeah. Why is it uh, that the Incas, yeah. the temples of the Incas, uh, right, and the Aztecs, uh, the same design uh, as the Tibetan design? Oh. Oh. Same design, oh. The temples of the Incas and the Aymaras, you know, or the Aztecs, you know, found uh, in the Incas. Uh, and then uh, the Aztecs uh, and the Aymaras uh, of South America, the same design. As Tibet? Uh, different, different civilization, is it? Uh, it's the same design. So, then, uh, <laughs> then uh, they asked, you know, why is it uh, that in the mountains of Tibet, uh, the Tibetans, uh, the main crop they grow uh, is uh, corn? You know? Then it so happened uh, in the Peruvian mountains, uh, where the mestizos are also the blue corn. Right? So Eritrea and Ethiopia is at war, Eritrea and Sudan is also at war. And we have to go and cross there. You were caught in, me in between? No. In uh, 97, we did the uh, trans Africa from uh, Cape Town to Cairo to replace uh, Sir David Livingston's uh, route from. Oh, no way. The other way no down. way. So we went to the, the border of Ethiopia and Eritrea. And the nation of Eritrea and, uh, was uh, ruled by the Italians. You know. And uh, because of the formation of Eritrea in, after the Second World War, right, it cut out uh, the sea port of Ethiopia. You know. So Ethiopia began landlocked. You know. And to any country, uh, if you're a landlocked, uh, it's and you don't have a seaport, right? you're at a disadvantage. And Eritrea had a whole red sea fund uh, to Eritrea, and Ethiopia had no sea fund. Eh? That's why the war between Ethiopia and Eritrea went on 30 years ago. Right after Eritrea was formed, the war started you know, fighting for the sea fund. Eh? Then uh, we had to go be there. I mean, the war wasn't like like like, like the israeli palestinian country, you know, bombs and you know, it's like tension, you know, okay, every now and then somebody shoot and then, you know, somebody reply, that kind of whole war, you know. So, uh, in we did a trip from Cape Town to Cairo and we crossed it. Under the auspices of President Nelson Mandela, under the advice of Mahathir to go and build relationships with Africa after he was released from Ruben Island, 27 years in jail, after the apartheid system. <laughs> so we got that. Two countries are, they have no border crossing now. How do you manage? Okay, so when Reki, when you see the general of the Ichiban side, talk to him, we come with greetings, you know, bring him gifts and blah blah blah, you know, and then we say we are here for what? We have got this uh, television channel, Malaysia is an Islamic country, blah blah blah. Come do an interview to ask you for uh, uh, what you are doing here. Those people are. Uh, who lead these kind of things, uh, they are very blind people. The general on the Ethiopian side and the general on the Eritrean side, actually they are friends, you know. They know each other. What the hell? <laughs> so that they are on the wrong side of each other, you know. So we said we are coming for it. So we asked him for permission to let us through. Because it was barricaded, you know? let us through out of Ethiopia. So General Al Mahmoud says, uh, we think blah, blah, blah. Oh, Ethiopia and Malaysia are friends and we have no problem. Yeah, Muslim, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Blah, 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 blah. But uh, can you let us out? Then he said, tomorrow come. Come at 6 o'clock in the morning. We had a meeting. And uh, I spoken to that guy there. If he's fine, no. If General Salvek lets you in, I will let you out. Oh. I said, who's General Salvek? He's the guy opposite there. The guy he's fighting, you know. <laughs> so obviously you won't know him, right? Don't know him. Okay. Went back to Addis Ababa, flew in the Asmara. Flew in the Asmara. All these uh, was financed by Silverstone, the Lion Group. Flew in the Asmara. Went, went to two Land Rovers. Went to the border of, on the other side, you know, Eritrea. Talked to greetings, you know, from Malaysia, from Prime Minister Mahathir. Greetings from uh, President Nelson Mandela, President from Al Mamo, you know. Bring you peace, offering, blah, blah, blah. Oh. So General Amamut lets you out from Ethiopia. Okay. If he lets you out, I will let you in. <laughs> so what was the start decision? 
What was the crunch decision? You can do Eritrea. You can get close to Sudan. Oh. Eritrea is also in war with Sudan. Oh, shit. Sudan is also at war with Egypt. So we use the same system. So we cross three borders. Uh, that well. Cold War war factions. Are you using this kind of negotiation? Yeah. Through the good offices of President Mandela. Through encouragement of uh, Mahadeo. And financed by the Lion Group. Yeah, by the Lion Group. So we managed to cross the border. We reached Alexandra. Okay, no. And Egypt. every time, uh, you know, we are just a civilian. We know nuts about what the hell is going on, right? And then you come and talk to this guy who's fighting the other fellow at the wall. <laughs> and not only one time, no. Because uh, Eritrea was carved out. Was carved out from Ethiopian territory. Right? And Sudan doesn't agree with all that. It was a typical case of colonial powers uh, when they left uh, they have to leave some place, some, some shit behind. Mm-hmm. So they cut this place out. No? So they created a warring faction. Fantastic. So when you want to decide, huh? so when you negotiate with these people, huh? I mean, I'm not a negotiator, I'm not a war negotiator, I've never done it before, right? You just speak from your heart. You speak the truth. You speak 100% from your heart. Through sheer emotional. This is how you succeed. You don't, you don't, you don't promise anything. You don't lie to them. You speak purely from goodwill, and they can see, they can sense that you have good intention. We from Malaysia. Malaysia. You from yeah, yeah. Tibet. Tibet. Nice. Hello. Hello. Ibrahim, distinguished gentleman, global traveller, handsome looking chap, been to many countries. What the fuck are you doing with the beach pail, mate? <laughs> Why are you videoing my crotch? <laughs> Likewise, I think these are pilgrims on the way to... We're inside. We're inside! I think we've reached the nearly the top of the Patala Palace. Yeah, it's a bit of a lung-busting climb. Thank you. 
消费者如果是观看我们干嘛，间，他会产生一种一种心理上的变化，情绪上的变化。我们不是老，我是老。Hello.